Hello, my name is Ashley and today we have Alyssa. She's an RN and we're just going to have an interview. So the first question is, what is a primary care nurse? Um, a primary care nurse is considered to be the first level of medical care nursing. It refers to the care that patients receive for uh, minor illnesses and injuries. And the next question is, what did it take for you to become a primary care nurse? It takes a four-year degree, depending on where you work. You may have to go to school longer for a shorter period of time. And it also takes passing um, the NCLEX exam. All right, the next question is, what type of classes did you have to take in college to prepare yourself for your degree? So to become a nurse, you have to take, um, of course, a lot of sciences, such as biology, chemistry, you're gonna take anatomy, and then you have psychology, you have pharmacology, and we also have to have experience in the field with hands-on work with patients. All right, and the next question is, what is your routine when you see a new patient? Well, we take their measurements, such as blood pressure, temperature, we take pulse, um, if needed, we do respirations, uh, we get patients' list of concerns and symptoms, their family history, um, and their health, um, the patient's history as well. All right, and the next question is, where do primary care nurses normally work? Well, primary care nurses most often work in a physician's office and outpatient clinic offices, but hospitals do hire primary care nurses as well. All right, thank you. You're welcome. Questions. Uh, what's your date of birth? 3 4 1999. Okay. Are you sexually active? Yes. For how long? Six months. When was your last period? Today. to any medications? Not that I know of. Okay. Do you smoke? No. Do you drink? No. Okay, I'm going to ask you about your family history. Uh, do you have, does anyone in your family have breast cancer? Yes. Did you come in for today? Um, well, I've 
had a temperature for the past week of like 102. Um, my head has been hurting recently. My stomach has been really upset. I've been nausea, nauseous, and I my sinuses are really stopped up, and I've also been coughing a lot. Hello, my name is Zaniah Henderson and I will be talking about the history of primary care. So primary care emerged in the 1940s during the Cold War. Primary care was a way to make health care open for everyone in the community. So during the Cold War, men didn't really have the ability to um, pay for health care. So through primary care, it allowed them a way to have, have health care without overthinking the excessive amount of money that they'll have to pay for the care. World Health Organization, also known as WHO, was organized in 1948 to help developing countries in healthcare. So developing countries like Pakistan, Jordan, South Africa, Kenya, and so on. It, it helped these countries also have a way of having healthcare without having to pay the excessive money for it. Um, UNICEF, which is the United Nations Children's Fund, was developed in 1946 in order to help parents and children with health care. So when I, when I say parents, I mean more mothers because it helped mothers with labor and it allowed them to have their children without having to pay the, over, the overly excessive amount of money to have their children. John Bryant wrote a book called Health in the Developing World, which was a book that talked about the third world countries developing in health care. So in, in third world countries, they didn't really have um, health care because they didn't really think about it or they didn't really have primary care. And so primary care was a way to have to help people have a cheaper way of health care without having to um, strain and without having to overthink how they were going to get their child or their parents to have the care that they needed. Lutheran World Organization um, was created in 1960s in order to work with developing countries. So just like um, just like he wrote that book, the Lutheran World Organization actually helped with that. So it actually helped people get the um, care that they needed without having to overthink the amount of money that they'll have to pay for it. Um, in 1910, the words primary care were used for the first time in a journal named Contact. So Contact was a journal that began to talk about primary care since they, saw, since they began to see how primary care was beginning to develop in developing countries. So that's what primary care um, in the journal Contact did. Um, people began to know, oh, primary care is actually a way for me to get the care that I need without having to pay um, a lot of money for it and without having to think, oh, I have to go to the ER and I have to pay this amount of money for it. Um, primary care also emerged in China with people called barefoot doctors, which work in their immediate countries or communities. So um, the barefoot doctors help the people in their community get the care that they needed without having to go to the hospital or um, other doctors that um, that would cost like a lot of money so they just help that they just help their community with that um, thank you for listening to my history on primary care Here you go. hi my name is Celia Gudger and my name is Laura Thompson I am a primary care nurse at one of the hospitals and we are going to do a short interview today uh, the first question is how is the job different than what you were expecting when you first started well, I never expected to see so many patients in one day. I definitely thought I would only see a handful, but um, I see way more than that. We try to push people in and out as fast as we can to get everyone seen. Um, also, I thought that patient, the patients I'd be working with would have coughs and minor like bumps and bruises, um, but I'm working with way more serious cases than what I would think. Uh, the next question is, what does your work environment look like? 
So I work with seven other medical doctors, which help with family medicine, pediatrics. I um, also work with two other nurses. Uh, we work very well together, and it is definitely a team-oriented type of job. There is no way that you could work in a doctor's office without working like a team. Uh, last question is, what is your daily routine like? The daily routine of a primary care nurse is definitely not a routine. Uh, it consists of interruptions due to updates on patients, orders, answering phone calls um, about output patients. I hardly have time to come in and just put my coffee down in the morning, but I definitely think that is a, it is a very rewarding job and something that most people should pursue. Thank you.